What's up, everybody? This is the 4 o'clock shadow tour as a whole right here. Pigpen, Pat Main right here. <laughs> Saying what What's up? up? To <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of history on the 4 o'clock shadow tour. I know we've been all posting blogs and uh, keeping you updated on shows and everything like that. But a little bit of history on who we are and what we're up to and basically what we're trying to accomplish with this tour and everything is uh, my name is Wise from Salt Lake City. I already know that or not. Uh, I have an album out right now. It's called People Like Us. You can definitely check it out. It's very good. My mom tells me. But uh, yeah, so anyway, we're, we all met up different places uh the way we all got into contact was different i met pat main at a local show um the first time i actually talked to him i was leaving the studio actually recording a song from this album as he was coming in that's how we met pig pen has a crazy story about he how he got involved with all of us came back from hawaii and the virgin islands and everything ended up rocking shows together we got together decided you know we went on a tour before this decided to make an official and do an official tour we hooked up with Kosher Dills, decided to send us out here. That's why we're all here right now. There's a little bit of history behind everything. Um, with this tour, basically we're trying to, uh, to, with the blogs and everything, I'm trying to show you guys what it's like as an independent artist going and pushing music everywhere in the world of mainstream club music and all that other bullshit, you know. So this is our day-to-day -day journal entry, uh, whatever you want to call it, about being, you know, an underground indie artist, you know, trying to push music in, in, <laughs> in, in the world, in the right world right of, uh, music. you know, in, in the world of music sharing programs, this and that, you know, the death of the live show and the rise of the club banger is what's going on. And so we're still out putting in work, sleeping off the side of the road, driving 17 hours in a car, you know, as much as possible, this is hip hop going on right now. And uh, Pigpen, what what do you really think? Give some some you know history about yourself right now. Uh, man, I've been doing hip hop over ten years now. I'm from Denver, Colorado. You know, I've uh, been putting in mad work for ten years in Colorado scene, Salt Lake scene, Hawaii scene, Tampa Bay scene, briefly in Washington, briefly in New York City. But uh, now I'm in Salt Lake City at these two wankers. Wanker. Official wanker. Wise. <laughs> Pat Main. And, uh, you know, I mean, it just, it was it was crazy because we all, there was a bunch of us doing things together and it just kind of whittled its way down to this as far as everybody always talks about wanting to do tours and this and that. But, like, finally we were able to just put that all together, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... Yeah, I've been doing it for, like I said, over 10 years now, putting in mad work, and obviously this uh, this kind of hip-hop that we do is not exactly what they put on the radio, not exactly what you would call the most sellable faces in the world right here. Definitely not a sellable you face. See me on, this is a celibate face. You see me on MTV? I don't think so. It just ain't happening. But yeah, you know, I don't know what else to say. Pat Main, a little hip question. Little, little history <laughs> on about why you're here right now, how we all met up, what you're trying to push with your music and everything. Hello. Um, currently chilling in Portland, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I've been just doing music for a while now and just really want to get out there. <laughs> like it. What the kind of question is this? All right. Hey, ask specific questions, Ma Effa. All right, specific question. Your... What's a little history about yourself? You know, what are you, what are you trying to accomplish with this tour? What, do, what are your opinions on being out here? That's like five trying questions, to do... Kate. We found him at a psych ward somewhere in between San Behind Francisco a garbage can. and, and uh, Seattle. <laughs> Sucking dick for crack. Sucking dick for crack. <laughs> for like banana peels and stuff. <laughs> so anyways, 500,000 banana peels later... Um, pretty much just ended up in Utah when I was nine years old and been writing poetry for about a year up until that point and just decided one day I'm going to be a rapper. Actually, it was, to be honest with you, I saw, um, I heard that song by Eminem. I never meant to give you mushrooms, girl, when I was like nine or ten and I was like, I'm going to be a rapper. Yeah, I'm going to do some mushrooms with some women is what I decided. No, but in all honesty, um... I'm just kind of out here trying to push something that hasn't been pushed. I feel like I'm kind of pioneering 
a lot from where we're from Salt Lake there's not a lot of individuals coming out and putting themselves out there a lot of I don't know what the reason is but you know I decided I wasn't gonna hold back and just really want to get out there good thing I found some people like wise like pig that are in the same situation we just want to get out there and make this happen and it ain't gonna happen from anybody else I mean like like why I said we've been we traveled for like 37 hours straight from Las Vegas up to Portland like each at like four hours of sleep a piece ended up sleeping in the woods where all these like serial killers have hacked people's bodies and shit like that like I mean totally feeling unsafe but you know it's we're broke we're slowly losing money we're not really making any money we're just out here trying to push music and really take it to a whole nother level and it's gonna take these dues and we're just I'm ready to do it Wise is ready to do it and that's pretty much where I'm at where I'm from with this whole hip hop situation Yaz could not have said it better myself thank you um that's pretty much it that's the history that's how we all got together that's why we're doing all these blogs just just to let you know so so we're not coming up with some random shit so you know I just played here so now you have a little bit of history of what's going on. Uh, stay, stay tuned, stay posted, and see what's up. You know, Pat Main is definitely getting off the banana peels. Just <laughs> really quit doing all that shit. So uh, much love to you guys. Stay posted to, <laughs> for the next video. <laughs> Peace out. Four o'clock shadow.